All right, folks, we're gonna talk a little bit about the Lemons Rally. If you don't know what it is, basically it's just a cool ass back roads tour where you get to visit a lot of interesting places like Deals Gap, The Dragon, Asheville Pinball Museum, other weird bits of Americana in a weird car with a bunch of other cool weird car people. There's a scavenger hunt aspect to this. You get points for bringing a cool car. You get points for going to weird places. You get points for doing weird stuff. All that's added up and the winners are determined based on that. Yeah, so we're gonna do, I think it's a half a dozen rallies this year. They very often, they start or end at a Lemons race. So the rallies and the races kind of complement each other. One change that we are making for 2020, if you've done a previous Lemons rally, you know they tend to, to get from point A to point B, you were pretty much in the car for 24 hours straight because it was like 1,200 miles a day. We're dialing that back a little bit. So conceivably, from now on, you'll actually be able to have dinner. It's a real improvement. We are geniuses. <laughs> this was data driven. Now, if you're one of those youngsters, you know, it's hashtag lemons rally. You can look for that on the Instagrams or what are those other things? The Facebooks, uh, hashtag lemons rally if you're younger than we are. So the first one for 2020 was the Retreat from Moscow Rally. You start in Moscow, Pennsylvania, where it's horribly snowy, and you end up in Paris, Alabama, where it's probably also snowy this year. Uh, so we took some pictures. Let's talk about the rally this year. For each Lemons Rally, there are four dishonorable mention trophies. The first for this one went to the Scrapyard Refugees and their Smart 4-2. This is a team that has previously done the Lemons Rally in a Chrysler LeBaron and a Planes, Trains, and Automobiles theme. They thought, eh, you know, we could do with some heat next time. And so they got the Smart Car, which had heat and had zero room. They were also bad at navigation, wound up totally in the backwoods deliverance country in Appalachia, uh, but they were pretty awesome. They got a dishonorable mention. Another dishonorable mention went to Team Jimmy Six in their 1953 GMC truck. Needless to say, this thing did not run flawlessly. It was constantly broken. They spent most of the rally just trying to get from point A to point B to catch up after fixing parts. And when they got to Barber Motorsports Park for the end, uh, other things blew up and they spent an entire day fixing it there and then had to overnight road trip back to New Jersey on a 53 GMC. Well done. Another dishonorable mention was Turbo Bratwurst Benz and this really awesome looking Mercedes. When we got to Deals Gap, they cooked a Bratwurst for everybody and then they ran the Dragon with the grill still mounted to the trunk. And then there was the B team and their Dodge Grand Caravan. Yeah. Grand, Grand being the operant yeah. word here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there were a bunch of kids. They love Mitsubishi. God only knows why. I don't know why people, why would you be a Mitsubishi fan? I don't know. They did not recognize that the V6 Mitsubishi motor in their Dodge Grand Caravan was going to do exactly what it did, which is puke its water pump all over the place. In the middle of nowhere, they had to get towed to a no-name motel in scary town, West Virginia. Uh, they tried to rent a car to get the park, which was 40 miles away in the nearest other town. The guy at the motel just said, I, just take my Hyundai, just like bring it back. They did all of that. They got the car fixed. Uh, Half of the bolts that hold the water pump on sheared off as they were taking the old one off, so they were leaking and they had RTV basically caked around the engine, but they made it. <laughs> and that takes us to the winners on points. Now again, the Lemons rallies are scored on a point system. You get points for having an awesome car. Really, just like Group B. It's virtually indistinct. Kind of the same thing. Yeah. And then this car that I'm about to talk about is a mid-engine supercar. More on that in a minute. But you get points for doing things like having a crazy car, doing weird things, and visiting interesting roadside checkpoints. Third place on points went to Team Sourpuss and their Toyota Previa. No secret that we love the Toyota Previa. So they got this Previa, it had 300,000 miles on it. Basically new and they painted it with a roller, bright yellow, and they dressed up as lemons. The car sort of shaped like a lemon. They were walking around these lemon suits, which made a lot of passers-by say, why are you guys dressed as bananas? <laughs> Man, our branding is good. <laughs> they visited a lot of checkpoints, racked up a lot of points, third place. Second place on points went to Shake and Bake and their B-Body General Motors wagon. Yeah. The B-Body General Motors wagon is, of course, the BMW E30 equivalent. What the E30 is to Lemons Racing, the B-Body wagon is to Lemons Rallying, i.e. the perfect 
tool for the job. <laughs> yeah, they got that. in this thing. It was a it was a married couple. They had the full Cal Naughton and Ricky Bobby outfits. They were in character the entire rally. They even got thrown out of an Applebee's, which is totally extra credit. Second place. And the winner on points went to Uncle Rico's LLC and their 68 Ford full-size wagon. Awesome. They blew out their rear differential somewhere in the hills outside of Roanoke, and they're sitting there, oh man, we're totally stranded, there's nobody around, what do we do? A sketchy white van pulls up, the sliding door opens, the guy says, hey, just hop in, I'll help you out. That always ends well. And because this is lemons, we're like, okay, sure, <laughs> better than the alternative. <laughs> Turns out this guy is a library courier headed into the nearest town. He drops the guy off at a shop. Guy explains the whole situation. The shop owner thinks the whole thing is hilarious, does the differential work for free, drives the parts back to the wagon. They get back on the road. That was just one of the many things they did during the course of the week. They found a kid's bike in a dumpster and rode that on the dragon. That was super awesome. Through all of these activities, they racked up more points than anybody else and won overall. The heroic fix went to the Monster Foodies. Inadvertently, we picked a hotel for the Asheville stop. We picked it because it was right near the awesome Asheville Pinball Museum. Yeah. What we did not, because we are geniuses, what we did not know is that that hotel is very fancy and valet parking only. <laughs> so, yeah. We did have an awful lot of fun watching the Lemons cars come in and they would hand off the keys to the to the hotel valet and have to say things like, well, to start it, you put the screwdriver in here and then uh, lick this wire and make sure it is grounded and then pump it three times. And turn. That was really worth the price of admission. So these guys managed not only to go through that whole process, but then when it was time to leave, they could not get their car to start and they had to rebuild the starter right at the valet stand in front of the fancy hotel with all the valets watching and cheering them on. And when they left, there was an oil stain that was probably 10 feet wide, but see you later, away they went. The Random Acts of Stupidity Award went to what it says on the notes, Statosphere Motorsports, could be stratosphere, mm -hmm. eh, whatever. Yeah. And they got a Ford LTD, which continues this long tradition of big, giant, full-size American cars being the BMW E30 of the Lemons Rally. A lot of the stuff this team did, we really can't show you because it's R-rated or worse, yeah. but suffice it to say, they had this Ford LTD, a very credible men in black theme with sci-fi weapons all in the trunk, but they really went the extra mile to accentuate the social part of being on a Lemons rally. At one lunch stop, they went around to all of these different Lemons teams and they pulled all the tables together and said, okay, we are now friends. And that's the kind of <laughs> attitude we love to see on these things. And so they get this trophy. Another random act trophy went to Two Canes Trucking. A couple of brothers, they brought an F-150 this time. They've brought other cars in the past. They were in the middle of nowhere. I'm saying this a lot, it turns out, on this rally. <laughs> yeah. And they came across this skinny, dirty, they thought, stray dog. And he looked lost and hungry, and they took him into their truck. And they took the dog to a pet shop. They got him all cleaned up. They got him soaked down. They took him to a vet. He didn't have a chip. Probably was a stray dog. And they decided, we're just going to adopt this dog. This is now our dog. The organizer's choice went to Escape from Buffalo and their Cadillac Fleetwood Broem. And uh, as you guys may or may not know, Judge Phil has been bugging Lemon's race teams to do an Escape from New York theme for years. Nobody's ever actually done it. These guys intentionally did not register ahead of time and registered late on site so as not to ruin their surprise. And they showed up with a full-on Escape from New York theme, including two functioning house chandeliers bolted to the hood, wired through a real sketchy-ass inverter to the car. By the time they showed up in Alabama, they had like a half a gear left in their transmission, and but they made it, and it was super awesome. Organizer's choice. And that's also Lemon's Rally in a Nutshell.